other key registration requirements that businesses need to be aware of. One, a registration certificate will be issued by the Inland Revenue Department but to all registered business. This registration certificate must be displayed in a prominent location and as consumers, we should only buy from businesses that have a registration certificate being displayed. Another key requirement is that business must keep proper records, one, to substantiate the amount of output tax that they have collected and also as a means of proving that the input tax um, that they will be allowed to deduct. The Inland Revenue Department will conduct special one-on-one -on -one advisory visits to registered businesses. These visits, these visits sorry, will focus on sensitizing taxpayers and assisting them with the preparation for VAT administration. So every business that would be registered, rest assured that an officer or team of persons from the Inland Revenue Department would visit you to assist you with your preparations for value-added tax. You would not be left out in the cold. Another key feature is filing requirements. For the purposes of a VAT, a tax period is one calendar month. All registered businesses would be required to file a monthly return by the 15th day of the month following the end of the tax period. Again, for example, if Ms. Odin um, is filing a tax return for the period 1st to 30th November, that tax return will be due on the 15th of December. for four consecutive periods because most of the time you expect this to be a temporary situation. If after the fourth tax period there is still an excess, the amount would be refunded to the business. It should be noted that carry forward rules will not apply to registered businesses selling zero rated goods or services. For example, exporters. If you are an exporter, if you are an exporter and more than 50% of your, excuse me, more than 50% of your sales is to persons that are outside the Federation, this refund rule will not apply to you. In addition, taxpayers must file a claim for their refund because what would happen most Caribbean experience is that not everybody that has a refund normally wants it, so um, the rule is normally in place for them to apply for such a refund. Interest, it's very important to note that interest will be paid on refunds that remain unpaid after a specific period when a refund claim has been filed. So the government is very much accountable to you. That is, if you file a claim for refund and it is not paid within the time stipulated in the proposed VAT Act, then the government, whenever they pay, pay you that amount, have to pay interest on it. One of the key features of a, of a VAT, any VAT system, and especially for St. Kitts and Nevis, is the existence of items that are termed as zero-rated supplies. Zero-rated supplies are goods and services that are charged VAT at a special rate of 0%. Any registered business involved in the sale of zero-rated supplies 
can claim VAT on purchases made in relation to their businesses, or as it calls in any tax act, taxable activity. Pages 12 to 13 of the white paper list the proposed items classified as zero rated supplies. Another key component of the VAT for the Federation would be the existence of what are termed as exempt supplies. Exempt supplies are not subject to VAT. Therefore, as a consumer or business, you should not be paying VAT on those goods or services that you'll purchase that are classified as exempt supplies. A registered business involved in the sale of exempt supplies cannot claim VAT on purchases made in relation to their business. Again, on pages 13 to 15 of the white paper, the government proposes a list of items to be classified as exempt or zero-rated supplies. An important feature that we must know with regards to exempt and zero-rated supplies. The more exempt and zero-rated supplies there are, the higher would be the required standard rate of VAT. So, for example, suppose government was considering a rate of VAT around 16.5% based upon the current items displayed in the white paper. And your stakeholders decide, no, we like to add more items to the zero rated and exempt list. Then that would mean that government to recover the amount of revenue that it would need to meet its macroeconomic responsibilities would have to have a much higher standard rate. In the white paper, the government also proposed the treatment of selected sectors that it view as being very important. And again, you all are asked on pages 21 to 24 to carefully review the proposed treatment and provide your input. Again, we would like to stress that VAT is not an additional tax but a replacement tax, and the proposed taxes to be replaced will number at least 12 taxes. Registered businesses can deduct VAT paid on inputs. There is something that is very unique for the VAT system. That is why it is preferred as an alternative system, because, again, it would lead to a reduction in the cost of businesses. And as disclosed, registered business would see a reduction in their costs over time under a VAT system. Thanks for your attention.